He's always quickest to the breakdown, so effective in this aspect of the game. I'm now joined by Joe Trayfoot, big Joe Trayfoot, and funny looking little T Rex arms, Dave Ward. <laughs> Boys, good to see you. Yeah, good to be here, Flats. Thanks good. very much. We're here to talk about cars, and um, Wardy, we got a bit of history. We played together at Bath, and I know a little bit about your vehicular past. And I remember you had a car we called we called it T Lac. It was a it were kind of green Ford Focus T Reg. Yeah. And Matt Perry, originally England fullback, England's most capped fullback. Yeah. Legend. Bought that. Legend bought that thinking it was silver. That was the day he realised he was colour blind. <laughs> Correct, yeah. When he got it home and someone told him it was green. But how did you come by it? Well, so, obviously, t -Lac, great car. God rest his soul now. I mean, it's not dead, don't say is yeah, it. Where is it? I, I had to take it to the scrapyard flats. It did me a great service. Um, obviously, in my you know, trials and tribulations of a rugby career, down to Penzance, up to Manchester, Northampton, London, Bath, obviously. A journeyman pro for a while before Absolutely. you landed here and, uh, in heaven, weren't you? And it did me a great service, many a story. If, it, if I could, it would be best man at my wedding, but it can't. So I just have to move on and just, you know, it's one of those things I'll have to remember with fondness. Here at the Harlequins training ground, yeah. I've seen Danny Kerr drive past giving us a toot in some gangster wagon, Ugo Monia in something even more gangster. Yeah. Everyone's in something flash. Are you in the same boat? Are you one of these London city slickers? I am London at the moment, slickers? you know, yeah, one of these city slickers, you know, like... The real, the real truth of it is, you know, we get we get deals. They're only a few hundred quid a month, but you know, you look you look like you're earning millions a year. But so they're that's great what cars, the boys Joe. Like. But they're great cars, you know. They get you from A to B. Yeah, and sometimes via C. So it's luxurious, and you're living that life, right? Yeah, exactly. Is there anyone here still doing it how you used to do it, Wardy? What well, are you in these well, days? Well, I'm still in a Polo. I can't upgrade from, you know, but yeah. it's, it's a bit of a newer Polo. But yeah, I mean, so you've changed uh, uh, a bit. Harry Sloan, one of the young guys, he's still in a bit of a battered old beast. Yeah, he is. What people don't know about Dave's car is he's got the pedals which come up higher because he can't actually reach yeah. the pedals. So you know, that's that's. That's crazy. only on long trips. <laughs> <laughs> I put those in for long journeys just to save my. It's back. a block of wood he puts yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. What really helps with your short arms is the is the ropes for the steering, isn't it? Because you can yeah. just no, you I don't mean, have to you know get yeah. in a much more comfortable position, can't you? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's you know one of those things. If I could, if I could drive a Dodger, I would. I changed a T Lax rear right tyre on the M4, 11 o'clock at night. That was scary. Yeah, and you yeah. got it. We got it done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. With the with the with the, uh, the HUVs going past 60, 70 miles an hour, knocking me over. But T-Lac was there with me all the way. And Maybe we can contact a DVLA and find this vehicle and get it back. Or that, is it now a cube somewhere? No, I don't know. But I mean, you know, there was a lot of promises made while we were, yeah. you know, had a few. Look, we were young. We were young, Wardy. We, you know, we made a lot of promises to <laughs> people those days, didn't we? <laughs> Boys, good luck to you. No, cheers, lads. Thanks very much. Have a great second half to your cheers, season. Man. Thanks for coming down.